published 0757 EDT, the 3rd of September 2017 updated 0759 EDT, the 3rd of September 2017 a veteran racing driver died after the brakes failed on his vintage car as he competed in a dangerous hill climb trial, Colin Buck, 66, had reached the top of a muddy off-road slope and was due to make a controlled descent back down when tragedy struck. His 1,800cc Marlin Roadster kit car suddenly lost control and hurtled backwards before crashing into a wall and barrel rolling into the air. Colin Butt, 66, had reached the top of a muddy off-road slope and was due to make a controlled descent back down when tragedy struck pictured. His wrecked car the accident had been caused a loss of brake fluid, an inquest heard. Mr. Butt and his navigator Andrew Benelik were competing in the 88 Exeter trial on National Trust land at Fingal Woods, Devon, when the accident took place. Mr. Benelik said the Red Marlin was the last in a group of three cars driving up the steep hill when they lost traction. He operated the handbrake and Mr. Butt used the foot brake as they reversed down the hill but the pedal went straight to the floor. The navigator said suddenly something went pop and the car accelerated backwards out of control before flipping in the air and barrel rolling twice. Neither Mr. Butt or Mr. Benelik were wearing seatbelts and the navigator was thrown from the car during the crash. Mr. Butt suffered multiple injuries as a result of the crash, which proved to be fatal. Vehicle examiners concluded the cause was brake failure due to a lack of brake fluid, which had leaked from a badly adjusted master cylinder. The inquest heard Mr. Butt had held a competition license for 19 years, but that would have been declined had organizers known he was suffering from cancer. An inquest heard that Mr. Butt was not wearing a seatbelt or wearing a helmet during the race pictured, the scene of the accident in Devonian Davis from the Motorsports Association, the UK governing body of four-wheel motorsport, said seatbelts were not worn because competitors could bounce in their cars to get better traction. The Marlin did not have a roll cage and helmets were not worn by contestants. Mr. Davies said the MSA was bringing in three new actions following the crash in the two-seater open kit car to improve safety at future events. Police investigator Jeffrey Chapman said had seatbelts been warned that fatal outcome may have been avoided. Coroner John Tomlin said it is a great shame that Mr. Butt died doing something he loved. He recorded a conclusion of accidental death.